Hey everybody, I'm back here with another video. This one's going to be about setting up Reaper with Sonobus to do multi-channel output. So right now I've just started with a blank Reaper session so I can just set everything up from scratch. So the first thing you're gonna to need to do is just add a track for your Sonobus plugin. And I'll just call that Sonobus here. Okay, and then just go ahead and grab Sonobus uh, VST and throw it on here. Uh, and the first thing I'm going to do is just connect. I have a remote session with some other tracks, so I'm just going to connect to the group. Reaper. Okay, so let me just turn everyone down here. So we have a drummer, a bass, and a guitar. You can hear those right now. Here's drums. And you got a bass. Okay, and you got a guitar. Okay, so what I wanna do is I wanna have each of these instruments output to their own channel inside a Reaper. Um, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna have to go up to this little button where it says two in, two, 20 out here. And uh, this is the pin connector. So what you're gonna be doing is Sonobus has uh, eight user outputs here. And you need to connect those to two channels over here. So if you just click this little plus sign, I'm going to reassign three and four to user one. And then we'll just keep going down the line here. So user two will be five, six. User three will be seven, eight. And we'll just do a fourth one, which will be nine and ten. Okay. So once you have this set up, you just X that out. Now you'll see that I have everything turned down inside of here, but when we route it to its own channel, these volumes are not gonna matter anymore. Uh, you do have to keep it unmuted though, for it to work right. Okay, if you already noticed, you start to see those channels in different meters here. So let's just start a new track here. We'll call this one drums. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna need to do is click the little route button on the drum tra channel here, and then do add new receive and you're going to click sono bus and then over here you're going to click stereo source and then i believe we're going to do three and four yep okay so we're now we're getting the drums into this channel right here so let's do the same thing with the bass So same thing, so instead of uh, three and four, we'll do five and six. Yep, that's, that's it. Okay, let's do guitar. Sono bus. Oh. Okay, so now you'll see uh, We've got each of these going to their own channels. And I'm just gonna set this up for recording a remote people. Uh, you could also set up your own your own track. Uh, so the only last thing we have to do is set um, the recording input to actually record the output of the channel and go stereo out. Out. So now if I hit record, you'll see it's actually working. By default, you might have it on an input and it'll be looking for something from your interface. So now that that's there, I should be able to go to the timeline here and hit record, control F. Yeah, so now you can see the drums, bass, and uh, guitar all recording to separate tracks. So I'll save that. Let me mute all this. So now I can play that back. So that's pretty much all you need to do in Reaper to get multi-channel recording out of Sonobus. I'm going to be making more tutorial videos using Sonobus and using Reaper, so please subscribe to my channel for more.